John in Oceanside, California. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hey, Leo. How are you today? I'm great. How are you, John? Good, Leo. I'm a big fan of yours and your you. network. I've been following you since the tech TV days. And, uh, oh, you're making me blush. You do. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm a pretty technical guy. I'm a sysadmin by trade. Um, I, I followed some of your advice of having some family photos scanned. My sister brought oh. over a giant box of photos, and I took them to one of the, or sent them off to one of the online sites, and they sent me back a DVD and my photos back. Everything worked great. Good. I've, I've uploaded my photos from the DVDs to my online places where I keep things, uh, OneDrive, Amazon Cloud, and Google Photos. Now, most of the pictures, I don't know who any of these people are, and I need to find a way to share them with my mom so that she can tag them. <laughs> who are these people, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what I – there? so you – Mom probably uses Facebook. That would be one place. You can create an album no. and share it with her. She doesn't. No, she's not really a Facebook person, but she does have an iPad. Um, I would say Google Photos. From. This is yeah. Google Photos has a, a really great photo sharing capability. In fact, they uh, duplicated Apple's photo sharing, where you could create a shared folder where she can put not not that she's going to do this, but just so people know, where she could put pictures and you could put pictures. So you could say, make a photo of an event like a wedding, and say, everybody, this is here. Put your pictures in this uh, folder, and everybody will have access to it. They also have good right. face recognition, really good. So. Right. The, the reason you use this is she can you, – you, know, you share a folder with her. She can open it on her iPad. She'll need to install uh, Google's Photos app, which is free. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. opens it on her iPad, and then there's a tag command. She says, oh, yeah, that's Uncle Lou. She tags that, and Photos will continue to search through the other photos for Uncle Lou's face and automatically tag many of them. It's very good. Right. So right. once now, now they does, that, does once, that information get stored in the EXIF file of the picture? No, I, I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, how could you get it into the EXIF? Well, once you've got once she's done the tagging, you can then export those images uh, into folders yourself, and then use a mass EXIF editor. EXIF is the extended information, text information that many pictures have. It's very useful. Uh, your camera is already pre-populating it with the time and date of the photo, often information about how the photo was taken, what lens and so forth. And if your camera has a GPS, it'll even put the location into it. It's very handy. And yes, it'd be nice in the notes. There's not a field for who is this, but there is a notes field to put Uncle Lou. Uh, and and uh, but, but, you know, you don't almost need to do that because Google is going to be automatically organizing this. So now in Google Photos, you can search. And you can, right. I, like, I can go to my Google Photos, click the search icon, the magnifying glass, and uh, it'll show me some faces that I already know. And then I can add other, I could say, oh, well, hey, let me see all the Uncle Lou photos. And it will find them all. You can even say, let me see all the photos of Uncle Lou in Paris. And it, and it will do that, too. It's incredible. And it's getting better all the time. Right. And, and it, it's, I, I have used it a little bit, so that's great. My concern is if I, in the future I need to take these photos and do something else with them, that information is then stuck well, in the, Google. That's right. Well, there's a second concern, which is that Google is squunching them. So you would have to mm -hmm. choose save original photos. Mm -hmm. And then you have to pay for storage uh, mm -hmm. because uh, they only give you free – they give you free unlimited storage if you allow them to compress the photos. They don't do a bad job, but – See, it kind of depends, you know, if you want archival, you know, original copies, then you should tell them use original. And it's not expensive to buy a little extra storage if you need it. You probably won't. Right. And then, and the then you can export them. 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 Yeah, then you'd have to do, use, you'd, what you'd have to do is do a search, say, okay, see those, export those into a folder, and then, mm. and then now that they're on your hard drive, add the text to the uh, EXIF file. You could do okay. that. It's not, yeah, not horrific. The thing I think, frankly, that's one. There's a whole category of things that we do because we think down the road we're going to want to do things that we currently do, like print the photos. When mm -hmm. in when in reality, eventually we're just going to let go and let Google. <laughs> we're just going to say, I don't need to do anything with those photos. They're there. They're categorized. Anybody who wants to see them can see them. That's the end of the line for them. Mm -hmm. so, so we often kind of. You know, people burn CDs and say, well, if I ever want to remake this CD, <laughs> how should I burn it? 
And I can tell you that, but the truth is, are you ever really going to want to go back to CDs? Probably not. We're moving forward, not backward. So I suspect right. once you would, gosh, you know, the Google thing is so amazing and so uh, I don't, I don't yeah, I anticipate. Like it. It works great. It yeah, works. It works. Great. It's a, it's a, I, I also have six sisters that aren't very, and most of which are not very technical. And so they're, they're interested in getting, you know, like a printed album of some sort. And I'm like, you know, so that's where I was wondering about. Well, and you can, I'm sure, I don't know, but I would guess Google has that capability too. Yeah, that's a nice money maker. If it's not there yet. <laughs> if it's not there yet, it will be. Uh, that's the other side of this is that, you know, they're going to continually improve this, I believe. Although you, you never know with Google. Sometimes they lose interest. They, they're very ADD. Sometimes they create great things and go, oh, yeah, we're bored now. Let's do something else. Right. <laughs> I don't think photos is one of those things. And I don't think Google's going out of business in our lifetime. So, you know, the only the only thing some people might say is, oh, Google, now they know everything about Uncle Lou. Yeah, it's like, hey, who, 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 I don't, so what are they going to do with that? I don't think that's, right. that's not an issue. So, uh, All right, Leo. Well, thank you very hey, much. you're welcome. I appreciate your help today, yeah. and uh, keep doing what you do. I thanks appreciate for, it. So thanks for watching. Day. I really appreciate uh, appreciate your support. Very nice.